Welcome to Mathwino. Factory. X to the power of 10, then plus x squared, then plus 1. Hmm, it looks so easy and nice. However, it is not easy to solve. By inspection, 10 and 2. They're both even numbers. So first, maybe you want to substitute them as t to the power of 5 and t. Why? Since x to the power of 10 can be written as x squared and then also power of 5. So this is a good choice. So it can be written as x squared and then also to the power of 5 and then plus x squared and then plus 1. Mm, so first, substitution. We can let t be equal to x squared. So the original term can be written as t to the power 5 and then plus t and then plus 1. Of course, here are only three terms. t to the power 5, t, and 1. Maybe. Which method should we use? Look, t to the power of 5. Here is t to the power of 1, if I note it. And 1, it can be regarded as t to the power of 0. So 5, 1, 0. We lack 4, 3, and 2. So now we can add them here. t to the power of 5, then plus t to the power of 4 and then plus t cubed, and then plus t squared plus t plus 1. You've added them, and then we should subtract them. Subtract t to the power 4, and then plus y. It is plus, since we've added a bracket here. t cubed, and then plus t squared. So now, maybe we have a method for solving this question. Which method? Hmm, I'm going to ask you. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Of course, solve it by using the grouping method. Because in these three terms, they have a common factor. That is t cubed. And in this term, they also have a common factor, that is t squared. So if we take them out, and we can get t cubed, then times, here is t squared left, plus t, plus 1. And you can get, and you can notice that here is also t squared, plus t, and then plus 1. So then minus, take out a t squared, so in the bracket, it is t squared plus t, and plus 1 again. So, therefore, we can take out a t squared plus t, then plus 1. Very good. Mm. So take it out. t squared plus t plus 1. And then times t cubed plus, or I should write minus t squared first and then here plus 1, but both are okay. Have we done? No, of course not. Why? Since t is x squared, we should substitute it back into a term. So this term, here we substitute it back into a term, x squared, all squared, it is x to the power 4, and then plus x squared, then plus 1. And then times t cubed it is x squared, then cubed it is x to the power of 6. And then minus x to the power of 4, and then plus 1. Have we done? Of course not. <laughs> Why? Here, pay attention. Not definitely. 
x to the power 4, then plus x squared, then plus 1. It can be factorized further. x to the power 4, it can be written as x to the power of 2, and then squared. Here is a 1, so maybe the binomial formula, a plus b, all squared, it is a squared plus b squared, then plus 2ab. So here we have a 1, so we only lack 2 times ab. a is x squared, and b is 1. So if we add 2x squared here, and here's 1, and we minus x squared, you can see that this part it is x squared plus 1 all squared, and this part is x squared. Go ahead and solve it. It is. So here we can written as x squared plus 1 all squared, and then minus x squared. And then times x to the power 6 minus x to the power 4 plus 1. This term, it cannot be factorized further, but this can. a squared minus b squared. It is a plus b then times a minus b. So it is x squared plus x then plus 1 and then times x squared minus x plus 1. And then times x to the power 6 minus x to the power 4 and then plus 1. So this is the answer. However, you'd better write this term first of all, because it has the highest exponent. Do you get it? And don't forget to give me some up, join my channel so that you can see my posts and members only videos. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye!